Hi, I'm Bradley. Welcome to the Space Theatre in Dundee. This building is part of the Kingswood campus at Dundee and Angus College and is home to the Incontentable Theatre course. This is a one-year, full-time course designed to introduce you to the backstage elements of staging live production. Next, we're going to show you a quick tour of theatre. So now you've seen where the course is held and some of the resources on offer, we will now explain to you some of the elements that you can study on the course. It's worth pointing out that, although not currently on the curriculum here at Dundee and Angus College, wardrobe is an integral part of technical theatre. The wardrobe element entails designing costumes, sourcing materials and creating costumes for shows, and there is an opportunity to shadow the wardrobe manager here at Dundee and Angus College. Now to cover what you can study on this course, the first being stage lighting. This includes an introduction to the types of lighting equipment used in theatres. Fitting of these lights above the stage and how to operate a lighting desk. The second element is stage sound. This unit looks at all aspects of sound, including the types of equipment used in theatres, the setup of this equipment, and operating a sound desk during a performance. The third element is workshop skills, which is based in a separate building right next door to the space. There we have use of both hand and machine tools to learn the basics of set construction. The workshop unit helps you to develop practical skills and allows you to work from design drawings to produce props and set pieces, as well as a skill model based on a full set design. It's a real fun and hands-on part of the course. The fourth and final element included in the technical theatre course is stage management. The stage management team coordinate all departments. They organise props, furniture and other technical aspects. They ensure the smooth running of a production. As part of the course, you have the opportunity to take on the role of deputy stage manager. What I've enjoyed about the course is the responsibility and trust that's given to you. You're, you're, uh, you're not following professionals around watching what they're doing. You're you're actually thrown into it and you're doing stuff yourself. You're you're there to make mistakes and learn from them. Yeah, I've actually really enjoyed the course. I think what's been great about it is you get to be involved with live productions. So I've been a deputy stage manager for one show and operating a sound desk for another. Well I'd have to say what I've enjoyed most is the variety of skills you actually learn on the course and they're essential life skills such as learning to deal with problems efficiently when you're working in a stressful environment with a lot of people, it does crop up and you have to learn how to negotiate and you know sometimes you have to compromise. And what else is really good is that the college has close links with Dundee Rep Theatre, so you actually get to work with your professionals in the industry and I think it's a really good opportunity. Putting all this effort in and you get the show at the end, it, it, you can show people what you've done, you know, something physical to actually take away, it's great. And there's also little things you get to do that you won't get to do in any other course. It's like, for the second production, I was doing the snow effect. That's just 
where else are you going to be able to do things like that? Thank you for watching. Applications are opened around January. Details on how to apply are on the Dundee and Angus College website. No previous experience is required, just enthusiasm. Hi, I'm Dan Dixon, Company Stage Manager at Dundee Rep. Uh, my role at the Rep here uh, mostly involves uh, finding, making uh, props, furniture, set dressing, um, and also quite a lot of communication goes on through the Stage Management Office as well. Um, we're kind of the main link between uh, the rehearsal room and the rest of the theatre. Uh, I had quite a boring kind of route, I suppose, into stage management. Um, I did it at school a little bit, but not so properly. Uh, and then went to university and did stage management, and then just started working straight out of university. So nothing particularly interesting, quite this kind of straightforward route uh, into the industry. Um, but I have to go and sit in an office, do the same thing every day, wear a suit, make sure I shave. You know, it's quite a relaxed environment to work in, and I quite like that. My name's Mike Hall, I'm the Head of Production Stage here at Dundee Rep Theatre. I'm responsible for overseeing all the technical aspects of the production department. That includes the staffing of the lighting, sound and stage crew. I, I've been working in the industry for around about 20 years now professionally. I started when I was 14 with a local amateur operatic company. I then started to do drama at school passed that at GCSE level and when I was 17 I started work at Manchester Palace Theatre as a casual stage technician. I spent a couple of years working there learning various things about staging and lighting mainly for a lot of big musicals and opera and ballet. Since then I've worked all over Britain, I've worked for most of the major opera and ballet companies, toured extensively with them. Um, again learning many skills along the way. I've been involved at the Rep now for about five years on and off and I've been in the position I hold now for about a year and a half. Um, just the best bits about the job are that it's just really enjoyable. Every day is different. It's not an office job. Um, building a show on stage, seeing it through from the initial model showing through to the final thing and seeing the finished show uh, on the opening night, it's just a just a great feeling. My name is Leela Kalbassi. I'm the design assistant and team car assistant at Dundee Rep Theatre. Uh, I've worked here for about 10 years and my job is to make the scenery that you see on stage. Uh, before coming here I studied uh, done a degree in film design at Art College and then followed that with a postgrad stage design course at Brislovic. Um, that was about 15 years ago and I've been working ever since, uh, mostly as a freelance designer doing opera and children's theatre. Um, I worked freelance also as a scale model maker, a lot of all different texturing, painting, scene painting, model making. Uh, to take workshops for teaching teachers and teaching children. Uh, pretty much anything really, it's quite varied. And that's the exciting thing about the job is that every day is quite different. So Jenny, what was it like having DSMs in rehearsal? Absolutely brilliant to be honest with you because um, I'm so used to working in a very sort of solitary way 
and having to kind of keep notes on absolutely everything myself, you know, from what props we might need and where actors are supposed to be and uh, just kind of, and also, you know, queuing actors and things like that. I'm very used to that because through directing youth theatre and also last year working on two or three projects here at the college, it's just something you kind of accept. Um, and actually having the chaps in the room uh, was really good for a number of reasons. One, I felt I felt like it was an additional support for me and kind of, um, we were both very, very positive about the work in the space and that is really key. At all times I felt supported so it's really nice to have that kind of sense of belief in the project. I look after all the technical aspects of the production department. How long till it's due? Oh, three months. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>